I'm the doctor, okay? I say it will. Oh, oh gosh! Oh. I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry I can be so classy sometimes. Oh, it's okay. It's my fault. Oh, he's so cute. My daughter would flip. Well, keep it. Oh, no, no, no. No, I didn't mean that. Oh, you, please. Oh. You'd be doing us a favor. Me a favor. We have a closet full. Oh, well, okay, sure. Thank you. Great. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Can't wait to be a dad. Mm. Come on, come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's get you changed. Let's get you changed. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, you're here. Look what I got. Thanks. Oh, I bribed one of the neighbors. Yeah. We're gonna get you out of here. Yes. Oh, shh. It's all right. My mother was picked up for dealing meth yesterday. The baby's name is Mia. This baby's starving. We gotta get her out of here. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh. Here you go. Mm. A little bit. Hey, Mona. I just finished writing this really fantastic song. Oh, well, you're always writing songs. Hey, Godzilla, can I get my order? This is a really good song. I worked on it a long time. It's really special. Well, sing it. What? Well, go ahead. Sing it. You're gonna sing it now. Oh, allow me. Thank you, sir. Huh. Thanks. Thanks. What if he's born on Christmas Day? What if he's born on Christmas Day? You know, you said you felt him kicking the other day when we were watching the game. The baby also kicked when I was watching the Nutcracker. Okay. Jock with an artistic streak. I'm okay with that. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, hey. <laughs> Anyway, I want to burn a DVD of this song. It's a Christmas surprise for Emily. But I don't have a computer to burn it. Joe, can you burn a DVD for Tracy? Yeah, but it'll cost her 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Joe, it's Christmas. What kind of a schmuck are you? My computer is in the shop, okay? I still owe the guy 20 bucks. Want me to come over tonight in my high heels? Well, we have a deal. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Well, you have no idea what you'll be missing. Here 
I brought you this for just somebody to use it. And I tested it already, so. It's okay, honey. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Children are what it's all about, right? You just let me know if there's anything else you need, okay? I will. Thank you. Oh, oh right here. Right here. Okay, what do you need? Okay, can you get you anything else? No. Okay. There you go. Get the candle whenever you're ready. Oh. next time, okay? Wait, you're covering that little creep's butt when you need 20 bucks? It's Christmas. For Christmas. Who? Barbara, the woman you've been going out with for the past couple of years. Uh, hello. Hi, it's Roy Braden from Child Support. How are you? Good. We've just brought in a four-month-old baby, a female. Sure, I can hold. I can't believe you haven't asked her to marry you yet. What are you, the fairy godmother? No, I'm Cupid. Fairy godmothers of our kids. Sandra? Hi, how are you? This is Patty Addison at Child Support. I'm fine, thank you. Uh, right. Yes. Listen, uh, we're in a little bit of a jam. Old. We've got a little baby. Yes, uh, female. <laughs> yeah, 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 the baby can be a lot of work. Smile. Look, we just need some help for a few days. I mean, I, I don't see why... I know, it's a lot to ask, but she needs you, and we need right. you, and... You're an angel. Thanks. You're an angel. Terrific. Okay. Thanks. Sandra Mitchell's gonna take her. Wow. Thank God for foster parents like that, huh? You know... I think you're afraid. I am not afraid. It's just that marriage at my age is a big decision. Okay. I feel guilty. Is that what you want to hear? You know Margaret would want you to be happy. You know that, Roy. So you and Mark want to come for Christmas? Well, Mark's going to be flying off Christmas week. You know, a woman like Barbara, she's not going to wait around for you forever. you got to figure that out. Thanks, Sandra. I wouldn't know what to do without you. Oh, you know me and kids. I'd take them all if I could. Oh, it's okay. I wish they were more like you. She's a little feverish. You think? Yeah. She's got a fever. Oh, maybe I'll come back and check on her in a couple of days, see if she's okay. Okay. It's all right? Thanks, Greta. I'm sorry I'm a little late. No, no problem. I hope your sister's feeling better. Thank you. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, how's my little baby girl? I miss you. I miss you too. I don't want to go next time. I don't want to go next time. I got you. I got for you. Another teddy. An early Christmas present. He's so cute. I'm going to name him Caramel. Well, it's time for you and Mr. Caramel. Be gentle. <laughs> to get yourselves ready for bed. Okay. Okay. Come on, Caramel. Let's go get you ready for bed. Thank <laughs> you. 
Did you just get in? Mm-hmm. How was the flight? Stormy. Stormy over Boston. New York was the usual milk run. I went into St. Edwards today. I don't think I've gone in there since we got married. Hmm. Do you remember what incredible stained glass windows St. Edwards has? Yeah. I was looking at the ones with the angels. I, I think I like them the best. And it occurred to me, where in the Bible does it say that angels have to have wings? <laughs> where does that come from? <laughs> oh. Did you get something to eat? What do you got? Uh, there's some leftovers in the fridge. You gonna join me? I don't think so. I already ate. And lived happily ever after. <laughs> Sometimes when I think about Christmas, I get so excited, I can't sleep. Have you finally decided what you want to ask Santa for? A friend for my teddy. Uh-huh. And a doll with red hair and red shoes and a red dress. And red lipstick. And red lipstick. <laughs> Mom? Yes. What was your best Christmas ever? Oh, wow. First Christmas after you were born. I love you, sweetie. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. I made coffee and sorry, I, I looked everywhere, but I couldn't find any decaf for you. Oh. I haven't been drinking any for six months, so no worries. Oh. Right. Okay. <clears throat> I'll finish packing when I get back. Yeah, sure, Greta. That's no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, it'll be fine. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Where's Greta? Isn't she watching me? She, um, her sister's still sick, and she's watching her till the nurse comes back. Um, Greta said she'd be here in one hour, okay? Okay. So if, if somebody knocks on the door, do not answer, okay? Okay. Okay. And if the phone rings, don't answer it. Just let the answer machine pick up. Okay. Okay. How do we look? You need a little bit more lips. Uh-huh. That's what I thought. doing tonight? Decorating the Christmas tree. Yes. You promise? I double promise. Wait. I triple promise. In fact, by the time you very carefully take all of the decorations out of this box, I bet Grant will just about be getting here. Look at this one. Look how beautiful that is. Mm -hmm. Just for you. Remember, you don't have to be afraid while I'm gone, okay? God is with you. How do I know God is with me? You just know. Come here, give me hugs. Okay. I love you. Love you too. 
Is there anyone we can contact for her? Sitter had a family emergency. She's the one who called us. The girl was in here all alone. Apparently she and her mom recently moved back here from out of town. Hi. My name's Patty. What's your name? Emily. You know my mom. You know when she's coming home. She's not coming home, Emily. There was an accident. She died. But you promised me we would decorate the Christmas tree. Sweetheart, it's not her fault. Am I in trouble? No. No, I'm just here to make sure that you're safe. And to find you a place to live. Why can't I live here? Because I don't want you to be alone, sweetheart. Nobody has any room. What am I supposed to do? What's the state home? Is that where I'm going to live? Come on. This is my guest room. So you can sleep here tonight. Whose books are these? Hmm. They belong to my son, Sean, when he was a little boy. Love you forever. Will you read it to me? Please? I've got a better idea. Why don't you put on your pajamas and I'll make you a snack. Okay. Emily! 
Emily, your snacks ready? Emily? Is this Sean's room? Yes, it is. He must be a star. What's this? It's just something old. Pretty. What's in it? This belonged to my grandfather. Your great-grandfather. Where is it? He always wanted a grandson to pass this along to. Mom, what'd you do with my basketball jersey? I don't know. I don't wear your jerseys. Got it. Did you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Okay, look, I'm going to put it right over here, and you're not allowed to wear it until after graduation. Mom, trust me, I'm not going to wear an old man's watch to school. I think it's beautiful. I like it. Cool. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Thanks. I gotta go. Love you. Bye. Love you too. There used to be a watch in here that belonged to my grandfather. What happened to it? Let's put it away, okay? Time for a snack. Emily, what is it? Who's that? That's Sean. Can I see him? No. Why? Because he's in heaven now. This is Emily. She's going to stay here tonight. Oh. Hi, Emily. My name's Mark. I'm a jet pilot. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's a little big. Emily, why don't you go play in the other room, huh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Her mother died in a car accident, and we don't know where the father is. So she had nowhere to go. That's terrible. Yes. She'll have to sleep in the guest room. Are you, uh... Are you gonna stay here tonight? Yes. I'll, uh, stay in Sean's room. Is she hungry? Well, I offered her something to eat, but she wasn't very interested, so... That's the Atkins diet. Are there any little kids out there that are uh, interested in some chips? Yeah. Well, I got a chip delivery. Chip delivery coming in. Oh, well, who are you? Where's Emily? Not here. You'll give me chips. Well, OK. Here, you can have some chips. Nope, she's not getting oh, any. Well, oh, there's Emily. Hello. <laughs> I'll be back in a couple of minutes. You stay right there. Hey. <laughs> a long time no see. Crazy flight schedules. Uh, I didn't know you played cop. Well, he's been in and out of trouble. His mom called after she couldn't find him. You know, Sean worked with this kid in the Big Brother program for a couple of months. Well, I knew Sean volunteered, but I never knew any of the kids. Don't even start with me, okay? okay the see. state facility was filled. Nobody could take her. I am what not starting with you. Everything is fine. All right. All right. Just uh, sign the paperwork here. I get a little excited. We'll look after the rest of things tomorrow. Right. How's it going? So you knew my son, Sean. Yeah, I got to get this kid home. See you later, Mark. Merry Christmas. Thanks, Roy. You too.
bed. That's a nice, cozy bed. And see, you're not alone. My mom has a special Christmas present for me. Emily, I know how much you miss your mom. She can't come back for Christmas. Stop saying that. She is so coming back. She promised. She never breaks her promises. Night, sweetheart. I'm helping out with Big Brother, and I'm uh, mentoring this kid. He's got lots of potential, and he's a shooter, and he's a little bit of trouble, too. <laughs> God, I hate cell phones. Anyway, be home soon, so uh, tell Mom to get the party started. Go Patriots! That kid in the back of Roy's car. I think he might be who Sean was talking about. I think that's who it is. Play it in your car. Play wherever you go. I don't want to hear it anymore. Oh, Patty. I can't be helping you. And it's certainly not helping me either. What does help you, Patty? I'd really like to know. We can't talk about the bad memories because it hurts too much. We can't talk about the good memories because it hurts too much. Do you think I want to feel like this? Do you? I don't know. I really don't know. All I know is I'd like to talk to my wife. I can't keep this bottled up much longer. If I do, I'm gonna explode. Well, isn't that the reason you want to move out? Set. One, two. Come on, go! No! Oh, no! <laughs> Get changed now. We have to go back to your house to get the rest of your clothes, okay? Okay. Alright. Okay. Will I be able to see my friends? Patty, we'll be able to take care of all that for you, okay? Okay. Hey, how come you don't have a Christmas tree yet? Hey, how come you're not getting dressed yet? Find a place for her. Not yet, no. But I'll be making phone calls all afternoon, so. Why can't she stay here for Christmas? Are you? I could. It's against the agency's rules. You let her stay here last night. Wasn't that breaking the rules? You'd never allow. She just lost her mother. She doesn't have anyone else to look after her. This isn't helping. Oh, sorry. I was looking for it in the closet. I found this box of junk. What is this? 
my seventh grade report card. Mrs. McMaster. Yes, she liked me very much. See, you can tell I wasn't destined for greatness. Oh, brother. What's this? What's the matter? Nathan. dropped this as it was being wheeled into the OR. I promised this kid I'd get him home for Christmas. I didn't. I forgot all about this. I meant to get it to his parents. Well, maybe you still can. What's gonna happen to all of our stuff? Well, Mr. Man, the landlord, has to run the house out. So he's going to pack up all your things, and we'll have them picked up later. Okay? Sweetheart, do you understand that you're not going to be coming back here anymore? It's goodbye time now. Okay, so why don't you go find some of your things, and maybe we'll take them with us. Okay. Tracy really didn't have much of a family. She does have a brother, but from what we found out so far, he never kept in touch unless he needed to bump something from her. What about her father? Well, Tracy was a teenager at the time, and the boy took off after he found out that she was pregnant. Hmm. Well, Emily said someone was in here with her when it happened. They were holding her hand. Doors were locked. I was the first one in the house. There was nobody here but the kid. No one. Can I have my mom's guitar? Of course. You might want to take lessons when you're older. Can I have my mom's lipstick? Anything. My mom likes to sing when she puts on her makeup. She even lets me make her pretty. And she makes me pretty. with the Fahey's or the Williamses, so... And no luck getting in touch with the brother. So it looks like we're right back where we started. You know, it would make things a little easier if we didn't have to move until after Christmas. Roy, I cannot take a child in my house, especially this time of year. I just can't, okay? Let me get a coffee. Is that a noble fur? Yeah. I'll take it. It's just the right size. Okay. My car's over there. Say, uh, aren't you the fellow that was with Roy Braden last night? Uh, yeah. You remember Sean? Sean Addison? Worked in the Big Brother program with you? Uh, who are you? Sean was my son. Yeah, he was killed on his way home or something, right? Right, a car accident two years ago. That sucks. Is he drinking? 
No, he didn't drink. He swerved to avoid a truck. The road was slick. Well, oh, I remember him. He's really into rap. Rap? Yeah, rap. We hang out, listen to rap, and shoot hoops. So you're into basketball? A little bit. Here you go. What do you think? I love your spaghetti. Ah, oh, exactly why I made it. Did I hear spaghetti? Wow. You're actually allowing carbs into the house. Mark and I met over spaghetti. Actually, we met under spaghetti. Patty and I were in college together, and, and we were in the cafeteria, and we both had plates of spaghetti on our trays, and, and we ran into each other. <laughs> Spill spaghetti for ourselves. <laughs> I offered to pay Patty's laundry bill, and she said no. And I offered to buy him dinner, and he said yes. You bet I did. Say, I was thinking about the question you asked me this morning, and I got a surprise. I got a Christmas tree. Show me where is it? <laughs> well, well, have your supper first. No, go ahead, go on. Yes. <laughs> Can we decorate with lots of lights and icicles, please? All the lights and icicles that you want. <laughs> Isn't that a beauty? Beautiful. And what's this? Oh, things, Christmassy things. You spoil us. Oh, you here. deserve it. So where's that handsome hunk of a husband of yours? Ah, there you are. I thought you were flying the friendly skies. Mm. I changed my schedule so I could be home. This must be Emily. Yeah. Hi. I'm Charlotte. Ah. Uh, Oh, I like your necklace. Oh, thank you. Emily, I think that's the most beautiful tree I've ever seen. Holy Toledo. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to help decorate? Right over here. All right, cool. Well, this, why don't we put up the angel? No, not until Christmas Eve. All right, what was I thinking? Mm -hmm. How about these little mittens? Yeah, they're really cool. How about this little lady? She's gorgeous. <laughs> hey, Patty, come and help us decorate. Oh, sweetie, I've got to do some things in the kitchen. Well, look at you all ready for bed. I kept Sean's smelly old basketball jersey on top of my dresser for a whole year. Good night, sweetie. See you Christmas Eve? Oh, with bells on. You know, stubbornness was always Patty's greatest strength and weakness. As a kid, I'd tell her she couldn't do something and she'd go and do it. I'm getting tired of trying, Charlotte. Oh, Mark. Don't let what happened rob you and Patty of the love you had for each other. I don't want it to, but I'm not sure she doesn't. Well... One of my favorite expressions was Yogi Berra's line, it ain't over till it's over. Bye. Emily asleep? Yeah, she is. Why are you here, Mark? What do you mean? We are scheduled to fly all this week. I changed it. This is not a good thing. I don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Emily here for Christmas? How could that not be a good idea? 
Because she gets attached to us, and then what? She becomes nearly impossible to place. My God, Patty, it's just about Christmas. She's just a little kid. I will not play with her emotions like that. What about our emotions, Patty? We can become another statistic just like thousands of other couples who've lost kids. Is that what you want? Stop it. No, you stop it. For the last two years, you've been acting like you're the only one grieving in this house. Well, I've got news for you. You're not. I miss Sean every single day. I am going through exactly the same hell as you, Patty, and I wish to God it would go away, but it won't. Not, not at all. Oh, your voice. I lost my only son. Does that mean I have to lose you, too? Hello. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, I'll, I'll be right there. Yes. Last night, she seemed to get worse. I checked on her, and she was having trouble breathing. Well, the condition she was living in, no wonder why she was congested. Oh, Patty, I was a nurse for 10 years. This is more than just a cold. Well, I'll take her to Dr. Mathis first thing in the morning, see if you'll see her. Well, you can't take the chance, Patty. you got to take her to the emergency room. I'd take her myself if I could, but... that Megan scheduled another ultrasound with Dr. Roach. Megan scheduled three ultrasounds and hasn't found out the sex once. She's not going to do it this time either. Hey, do you mind if I check something? Hmm? How does this database go back? Electronically, around two years. God, help me. Help me. Don't you say that! Where's my son? Excuse me. Is there a problem? <laughs> this baby, baby, baby's having trouble breathing. So are you. Why don't you come with me? I'm sorry about what happened just now. I... I uh... I get nervous in hospitals. That's okay. It happens all the time. I'm Patty Addison from Child Support. One of our foster moms was concerned about her. She was right to be concerned. This baby is having trouble breathing. What's your name? Emily, and this is Mia. Well, you've been very helpful, Emily. Thank you. What's wrong with her? Well, that's what we're going to find out. But don't worry. We'll take good care of her. Dr. Simmons, you have an emergency call on the third floor. Is this where they brought my mommy after the accident? Yes. Is this where my mommy died? Yes. Adventure. Why can't we just stay home? Stay home? That's no fun. Oh boy, I just love walking in the woods. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you know what? Guess. Well, it's not that cold. It's beautiful. Here's where the adventure begins. <laughs> Make a right. Step over the log. Keep going. Wow. Go ahead and look. Is it a cave? No. It's a fort. Sean and I built it when he was just a little boy. It shows a secret place. Go on in. <laughs> this was Sean's special place. We built it. 
so he could come here. If he was feeling a little down, or he just wanted to be alone. He even came here when he was a teenager. Here. And lately, I've been coming here myself. There you go. I love hot chocolate. Mm, me too. Look what else I got. One for you. And one for me. Hey, it's peanut butter and jelly. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> That's good. Did you and Sean have lots of picnics together? Not enough. My mom and I went on picnics in the park. I stay with you forever. It's kind of complicated, sweetheart. I'll be good. I swear. I know you will. It's just that the state has rules and regulations. Hey, I bet I can make a better snow angel than you. Give me that. <laughs> Go on, after you. Ready? Set? Is a little energy ball asleep? Yes, finally. You want something to drink? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Emily told me that she asked you if she could stay with us. She's very taken with you. I didn't encourage her if that's what you're thinking. Chardonnay, okay? It's fine. She also told me about the woodpecker. <laughs> and the fort in the woods. <laughs> we had hot chocolate and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in the snow. I didn't know about the fort. Well, it's a guy thing, you know. Not to tell your mom everything. When did you two build it? I don't know. Sean must have been 10 or 11. We chopped down some branches and found some old lumber and... Stuffed leaves between the cracks. He could have come home early that night, but he changed his schedule because you changed yours. Patty. Why couldn't he have come home early? Why couldn't he have spent an extra day with me? What, what could have been wrong with that? He had things to do. He had his chem lab. No. No, that's not it. If you had come home Tuesday, he would have come home Tuesday, but you came home Wednesday. So he changed everything for you. What do you want me to say? It's my fault? Okay. Done. Blame me. <laughs> I mean, I know you do anyway. Once he got older, everything he did was for you. Patty, please, let it go. No. No, I won't let it go. He played the sports you wanted him to play. He did the classes you wanted him to take. That's not true. It was as if I was around just to do his laundry or to, to make him food. You know, and I had no influence over him. You were the father. I was just the other parent, and that's what happened. Nathan? You did it, didn't you? You actually had the ultrasound. I told you I was going to. So... What color are you going to paint the nursery? I haven't bought the paint yet. If we have a girl, will you still be happy? You're kidding. I'm going to be thrilled because my child, whether it's a boy or girl, is going to have the most extraordinary mother. Mm, the perfect answer. Baby, I'm running late. Can you put these groceries away for me? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Oh, Nathan. Deal with it. I tried. Mandy said it'd be practically impossible to find out who it belongs to without a clue. Okay. Honey. <gasps> to Mom. Love, Sean. That's your clue. Sean. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Some mother, some father out there needs to have this. You're the best. You are. Hey. Mmm. How are you? 
a pig could get lost on this grass. Hmm? What's this? <gasps> you finally bought a ring for Barbara? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That doesn't mean I'm going to give it to her, though. Oh, you will. It's beautiful. How about you? What'd you get from Mark? So any word yet on uh, Tracy's brother? Yeah, right. Uh, Larry McAdam finally reached him. You know, he didn't know his sister had died. Anyways, I said we'd drop by later. You know, Margaret once bought these wind chimes at a yard sale. Mm -hmm. She hung them up right outside the living room. Hmm. And those things drove me crazy. A constant pling, pling, pling. I'd take them down and move them, and she'd move them right back. After she died, I couldn't even fall asleep without hearing that playing. Yeah, maybe that's why I'm having such a hard time giving this to Barbara. Hey. Don't let him go. I've got to go make some house calls, and I'm going to go over to the hospital and sign some paperwork and get Mia treated. Uh, am I going to see you later? It's like looking for a needle in a haystack, Nathan. In the case of an emergency, not everything gets put in the database. Oh, come on, Mandy. I've got strict orders to find the parents. Oh. Dr. Andrews? Hi, you wanted me to sign some papers for Mia? Right. We're looking at a respiratory infection. She didn't have any major complications. Oh. She's going to be fine. Well, that's good news. Here you go. Thanks. Dr. Great. Call you tomorrow. Thanks. I appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Shut up. Just shut the hell up. Well. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, this is definitely a good environment for a kid. Put that down. How are you? What do you want? We're from child support. About Emily? Your sister's daughter? Oh, yeah. Right, right. Terrible thing. Where is she? Well, she's not with us. But once you decide what you want to do, you'll need to sign some papers. Okay. Yes! Uh, you know, when I was 22, I got my pilot's license. I'm telling you, it was the happiest day of my life. Beautiful. It was phenomenal. What a day. Just fly those big jumbo jets or something? I can. But it's mostly... Beautiful shot, but it's mostly 737s. I do the shuttle between New York and Boston, sometimes DC. What, like every day? No, not every day. Good shot. Must be nice to get out of here. It's all right. Where would you go? <sighs> Don't worry about it. It's not important. Sure it is. Where would you go? All right. Got a grandfather out in LA. You drop it in. He, uh, he lived with us until I was 10. He used to play with me, take me to school. Took me to the zoo once in Boston. He sounds like a good man. Oh, yeah, he is. He was really sick, though, when my mom and I had meaning to go out and visit him. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Sean was right. You're a shooter. Do you play for your team, your high school team? It's not really my thing, but... You should. I mean, you got power, you got size, you got a shot. No, not interested. What do you mean? <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. If we worked on your game, you could play for your high school varsity no, no, man. No, I am not interested. All right? I mean, what is the matter with you? You're just like Sean. He'd call me up and I'd want to talk about math, and then, and then he'd go into some higher level crap. Like, yeah, maybe I could do that. You know what, man? 
I'm out of here. I gotta make some money. Justin, come on. No, man. I'll give you a ride. Hey, come on, pal. Why walk? Whatever. Relax. Look at this. A completely orange dinner. And it's from the milk. Yes. Orange and white. My mom and I like macaroni and cheese. Bet your mom was a good cook. Yep. Sometimes my mom and I would eat macaroni and cheese while we watched a movie. Then my mom let me sleep with her. Hmm. You know, when Patty was a little girl, we would make all the clothes for her dolls. Uh, we did everything together. Yeah, my man and I... She lied. My mommy lied. She said she would come home when we would decorate the Christmas tree. Oh, honey. Sometimes even mommies can't control what happens to their children. The only thing I can tell you is that your mommy loved you very, very much. But what about my special Christmas present? Mom? I'm in here. What happened? Oh, well, we were having a lovely time. We had a great day. And then I think I said something that upset her. Oh, where is she? She's in her room. Okay, thanks. I've got some news for you. Do you remember your Uncle Larry? Well, I met with him today, and he thinks that he might want you to come live with him. Sweetheart, do you remember your uncle? I remember his breath. What's going to happen to her? She needs a family to live with. Mom, you know I can't have a child in this house. What makes you think I was talking about you? Oh, Patty. Honey, my heart aches for you. But life goes on. And life's got to go on for this child. And like it or not, life's got to go on for you, too. And only you can decide whether it's filled with despair or joy. Choose joy, Patty. Thank you. Emily, you hungry? I've got some chicken noodle soup for you. Emily?
help me, please. Emily! Emily! Leave me alone. Uncle. Oh. oh my God! You gave me such a fright. I lost you. Oh. I'll get you a book, okay? Will you read me this one? Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. I love you forever. Mother held a new baby and very slowly rocked him back and forth and back and forth. And while she held him, she sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. And even when the little boy turned nine and his mother would sing, I'll love you forever, he liked hearing the song. But when he became a teenager, he thought it was silly that his mom would sing the song to him. What's wrong? Soon the little boy became a man and had children of his own, and still his mother would sing, I'll love you forever. And finally the mother was very old and sick and told her son that she was too ill and couldn't sing to him anymore. The little boy came to her house and picked her up in his arms and sang to her, I love you forever. After Sean's funeral, I went outside and started shooting baskets. I knew if I didn't, I wouldn't want to shoot baskets anymore. I feel closest to him when I'm watching sports on TV or shooting hoops. not your fault about Sean. I was just looking for someone to blame. You, me, God. Bad luck, even. Doesn't matter who. Sometimes you just have to sit still and hurt. I think you're right about Emily. She needs to stay here for Christmas. Maybe longer.
What do you mean? I'm talking about adopting her. She has an uncle who might want to take her, so we'll have to wait and see. But, Mark, if, if this works out, the state requires that there has to be two parents. And you'd have to stay. What's the latest on the brother? Mm, Tracy's brother wants her. He thinks that his life insurance. All right, what's going on? Mark and I want to keep Emily on a permanent basis. I think I want to be a mother again. And a wife. You and I both know. But if the brother wants to keep her, there's not much we can do about it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. She likes you. Do you like babies? Oh, I love babies. In fact, I'm going to have a baby. Well, actually, my wife's the one who's going to have the baby. But I'll be there holding her hand. Just like you've been holding me as your nurse. Here, this is for your new baby. Are you sure? Every kid needs a teddy bear. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you, Emily. But you're very excited for Christmas tomorrow. Yeah. My mom got me a special Christmas present. Well, your mom's a very generous lady. Yes. She's not my mom. My mom died. Patty's boy died, too. I don't think What was Patty's son's name? Baby's gonna be okay. Yeah. I think we should keep her here a few more days, though, for observation. Thank you. Thanks. Listen, Emily, I have to take you back to the house first. I've got just one last thing to do before I finish work today, okay? And then we're gonna have a Christmas Eve party, right? At your house, right? Thank you so much. Great. Okay, look, I've got to Addison. Check the name Addison. Addison. You mean the woman from child support? Yes. Two years back. Sean Addison, 18, admitted December 10th, deceased. No, don't you say that! I want to see my son. Dr. Samuel. Oh, boy. What if this power of attorney thing doesn't work? Oh, then this will be where Emily's living. You do the honors, okay? Good day, sir. Hey. So you got Tracy's life insurance sorted out? Yeah, right. I, uh, I checked on the life insurance, and Tracy doesn't have any. What is that? It's a list of her debts. Wait a minute. You mean I'm not getting any money? No, you're getting the child. 
Which means that you're going to have to clothe her, feed her, get her to school on time. And we'll be showing up on a regular basis just to check Wait, 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 wait. This is not, uh... <clears throat> Look, I'm sorry. I just can't be taking on a kid right now. I mean, it's not that I don't want to, but... <laughs> this really screws us around. You have to take her. Look, are you deaf? I said I don't want her, okay? Oh, well, I've got this set of power of attorney papers. Maybe you can sign them, release her to the state, and we can put Emily in, a, in another home somewhere else. Or well, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I can do that. You got them? Yeah. Yeah. Got a pen. Just want what's best for the kid. Hmm? Mm hmm. Check them out. That one's half off. Hey. Hey. I got something for you. Test that. It's for you and your mom. What is it? Travel vouchers. Pilots get travel vouchers every year, and I never use all mine. You and your mom can use those to take that trip to L.A. to see your grandfather. Anytime you want. Why are you doing this? When I was 15, I got arrested. And my probation officer asked me what I was really interested in. And I told him airplanes. I also told him I figured my chance of ever getting up in one was about zero. He hooked me up with a guy that had a single engine Beechcraft. And that man took me up on his plane. Spent the entire afternoon explaining everything about flying to me. He even let me take the controls. He told me you can't do anything about the weather. You can't do anything about the wind. But you can adjust the attitude of your aircraft. That man saw potential in me. Just like my son Sean saw potential in you. Merry Christmas. your Uncle Larry today. And he told me to tell you that he loves you very much, but that he can't take you in. And where will I live? I'll show you. Yeah. I've got a stocking for your new home. You're gonna come live with Mark and me. Here? Yes. With you and Mark? Yes. You mean we're gonna be a family? Yes! <laughs> family sounds good to me. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 y
great stuff for you. I've got peanut butter thing, marshmallow thingies. Oh, oh that looks yeah. so special. Oh, oh, my yeah. favorites. Let's see the tree. Well, I wonder who that is. I don't know, but you just keep your fingers off those peanut butter thingies. Dr. Andrews, hi. Good evening. Is something wrong with Mia? Oh, no. No, it... It's about your son, Sean. Two years ago, I was one of the doctors on call when your son was brought in. This fell off the gurney when we were rolling him into the OR. I thought I had lost that. For some reason, it turned up the other day. This long to get that to you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas, my much. Grandpa's pocket watch. Oh, it's perfect. Look. Mom? Sorry it's taken so long to get the watch fixed, but I think it's great, don't you? Should last another hundred years. <laughs> Just be sure you keep it away from me. Hey, Mom? Guess what? I finally figured out what my major's gonna be. I want to get a master's in social work. And you're probably picking yourself off the floor right now, but... <laughs> I figured out that I like doing what you do, Mom. Helping kids. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Love, Sean. Sean was the first patient I ever lost? No. Yeah. When I saw his parents get the news that their son didn't make it, I felt like I lost a piece of me, too. But tonight, when I was with his family, I think we all got a little piece back. Thank you. What? Nathan. What, baby? I think my water just broke. Oh, God. Oh, God! Get the bag. Hey, wait a minute. His clothes are blue. They're blue clothes. His clothes are blue. Touchdown, Jesus! Baby! Oh, I was wanted a boy! Come on, come on! Hum, hum! I told you! I told you the hum helps! Hey, we're having a baby! <laughs> I love parties. Oh, honey, wherever I am, it's a party. Thank you so much for the beautiful dress. Well, you look fabulous in that dress. <laughs> and that present right there is from me to you. What is it? Oh, you can't see it until tomorrow. And this one is from Uncle Roy. Whoa! <laughs> I've decided I'm going to give Barbara the ring tonight. Oh, Roy! Finally! 
Oh, I'm so happy for you. She's going to be a lucky girl. Congratulations, big guy. Is my mom's present here? No, sweetie, it's not. Well, since Christmas isn't really till tomorrow, it will probably come tomorrow. You know, Emily, um, we forgot the one thing no! that was going to make this tree perfect. Mmm, Angel. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? No, no, no. Should I go after her, do you think? No, no, no. She'll be okay. She'll be okay. Can you lift me up? He's my angel. I think he's been helping me. Honey. Helping you? Well, whenever I, I would feel alone, I would feel him with me. special song just for you because I love you so much. See, I told you she was coming. It's all about love. 